Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen Army of Four. We got another smash and grab mission here. Nine enemies waiting for us, 12 crates, and one of the brand new maps ish. We're looking at. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Definitely feels like a new map layout. Uh, let's have some more fun. So let's see, there's a crate there. Kind of? Kind of new layout, kind of not. Solid copy. No, definitely new. Got it covered. Follow me. Looks like we see something from up there. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Definitely a start here. Yeah? I don't think those guys can get close enough to to spot you from the. From the side. Side you down there. Well, there's a crate all the way here. And that's the map edge. It is. Will do. That map is wide. It's not of room to the other side. I really want you to get in position where we can potentially flame for these guys next turn here. Uh, there's one guy we don't see right now. So let's see if we can. Maybe get better eyes on them. Today the paint salesman's in town. Yeah, that's the first sergeant. Okay, cool. That, that detection is cursed in many, many ways. Aye, aye, come on. Right. Sure, that's if you come in there. Okay. Oh, right. no, no, you're the wrong guy. What are you doing? You're big up there. Yeah. That's not how death from above works. You don't come from above and then melee them. I think that looks like a excellent flame from opportunity. Only question is, do we quick burn this? No, I think we keep quick burn for later. But I like to do something. Yes, I also don't think there's any point giving it teamwork. Let's just let's just chill. Let's just Bring the pine. chill in the heat. Burn on everybody. Maybe a panic or two. Confirmed. Hold tight. 
So used to Amy having the implacable free move after this. Oh, yes, this is still good enough. Everybody's packing loot today here. I, nobody else is really in range. Even if we have to give up concealment, we can always reconceal, but let's get in position to Shoot, let's get crazy. grab this crate. And I think we might just grab it no matter what next turn. Grab this, move there, grab that, reconceal. That's gonna be a challenging one to get. Shit. This one, huh? Uh, yeah, you know what? We might as well. Hey, can you keep your blood to yourself? Okay. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Good thinking. Right, there's an Andromedon somewhere there. It sounded like, uh, yeah, you know, there's a broken piece of wall, so it's gonna be inside. I think we can just mark this. Come on, let's go. Like that, wonderful. I don't want to go out here and, and get land aside, not this turn. And yeah, we'll break and break and concealment. Let's get crazy. And then reconcealing. I'm on it, Commander. Right. Getting a bunch of marks in. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Let's get crazy. Is anything any happening inside there? Nothing we can see. All right. There we go. Me? This way. This is fine. Here. It's going to mark a bunch more crates next turn. And since we marked so many crates here to begin with, that probably means it's going to be stuff that's really far out. It's these three and this one. Might be the last four crates. I don't know. I haven't been, haven't been keeping count. Come get some. I think this is doable. Let's get moving. Not that that sounds like we're triggering. Alright. Throw it on its sectoids.
There's three more enemies somewhere around the map. Get you over there and get some ice yeah, on. Uh, right there. There's the last drill. Sentinel drone and something else. So if I mark this crate, I'm gonna activate them. I'm okay with that. Maybe we just kill the sentinel here. Better. Okay. Ready for school, Ma. I mean, we do have our favorites. Death of a warrior. Favorite sniper ability here. Shit. Okay, but we can mark the crate. Reaper off the drone onto the shield bearer. Like Reaper up to here. Pistol and then Reaper him. That leaves these two. Boomer can, can solo the Andromeda on and we burn this guy. Shouldn't be a deal. Should be a big deal even. I want to bring it to a nice sharp chisel edge. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, uh, and we get nice. whirlwind, so we can actually move here. Hands. They're stubborn little devils. Stubborn little devil indeed. Okay, what are we doing here? 14 to 18. Or 16 to 22, but this is gonna be reduced by 4 for each shot. So 12 less. So. 10 damage at most. Plus crits. Ah, Bladestorm be my savior. Before we do anything else, yes, sir. Well, definitely a quick burn on this guy. Can I move your? Sell through this now. It's got to be this way. Really? And then be either dead eye, eighty percent of crit, or we just take the stun gun. Stun gun sounds boring. Did its job. I just like to beat the brush. So, dude, can't touch this. One more crate here. Hurry up. Two more crates, actually. 
Oh, and we've got the civilians. Resistance contacts. Um, is there a third one? It's usually three of them. I don't see anything. You know, you're just gonna eat out next turn. And I'm just gonna bring you over here and you can command the others. Chew the evac, or we might reposition the evac, I don't know yet. Oh, the third resistance contact is over there. Time to go. Yeah, you know what? Nice we leave. You a hand. Let me just throw a new evac over here. Might as well put the little rascal to use. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Position confirmed. This side. Now get moving. It's kind of convenient that the guy is sitting next to the crate. Probably just made it back to the original evac in time without any issues, but whatever. I like, you know, repositioning evac. Hi, I'm Bob Ross, and I'm glad you're with me today. I think that's something that most people underutilize anyway, so might as well show that off a little bit. That you can do that, and that it's just a two-turn two -turn timer. Through here. Yeah, ready. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. What? Two of crates. No wounds. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. All the loot, all the kills. It's a good mission. Tell them to pose near an advent burger menu. For science, of course. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. I think we got free kills with our new sharpshooter. Should be enough for the promotion, I think. If we keep this up, the aliens don't stand a chance, Commander. Wonderful. A good amount of crystals. Yeah, now we sh now we're talking. Sixty-seven crystals. That's like free armor or so. Right, actually... Um... Pagan... 30 out of 41. Alright, that's, that's, that's enough willpower. That is enough willpower to go on this mission. Setting course for the Brazilian Corridor. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. So, if I remember correctly, the squad was D6 and then an officer spot, which is going to go to... Gentlemen, then we also will pick up another rifle here.
That looks good. Still can't make a Mark III Gremlin. It's very sad. Can I craft more dragon rounds? No. Didn't get a single mutant elite from that HQ or from the UFO. Alright, um, let's head out. 13 day infiltration time with in an officer with infiltrator. Longest infiltration time we've had in a while. Well, definitely, you know, just, just throw the intel at it. Not gonna wait for 13 days here. Okay, and I think we'll just scan here, see if we find another UFO or so, and, uh, yeah, see what else happens. Setting course for South Africa. We should reveal the forge here in a second. Objective added. There we go. Like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Commander, we have the coordinates of the Alien Forge facility. I've marked its position on the map. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We've made initial contact with the resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the Alien Forge facility. Strength 9, but we just liberated this. We still we don't have to be afraid of an invasion. Well, no, no, we're never afraid of an invasion. Concerned with an invasion. Um, but eventually we're going to change that to intel, because also we don't need more supplies. But we're going to get a bunch here. 1300 income about to, to be ready in three days. Um, yeah, let's just finish the training for both of our guys. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. No ambush. Our actions have succeeded, and the elders grow fearful. All right, we can queue up one more here. Yeah, let's do this. Um, I was looking at this here earlier, right? Yeah, let's get, get these two in. So that they get a little bit more um, teamwork points. And get yours back up. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. All skirmishers, all those freed from the Elder's bonds, are eager to hear your orders, Commander. Before I forget it, I know we have a little bit more, more leeway here with this, but I'm just gonna go on it. Though. Like, we have three and a half thousand supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Now a sharpshooter with 85 aim at tech sergeant. That sounds terrible. Alright. Some crystals. Get some... 
Ooh, another laser sight. I sh didn't even check my attachments on that last mission. Alright, let me just do a quick check here again of our liberated regions, just making sure that none of the others are under threat of an invasion, and they are not. It's all chill all around the world. Uh, how's this looking, by the way? Guarded threat, global advent strength is 69, nice. Okay, um, mm, yeah, well, I, guess, I guess we're just gonna... Just gonna chill over here. Now we could, you know, send a second squad to this if we feel like our our backs is strong enough to do that. But also if we really wanted more missions, run intel here. But I'm again. Setting course for sector thirteen, South Africa. I'm I'm going into the end game mode where I'm like, yeah, you know, most missions don't matter anymore. We have the, all the master sergeants we want, or well, you know, most of them. This will prove to be an important step forward. Just gonna throw data pads at Tigan and, and scan around a little well bit. Together, Commander. We have a chance to deal the elders a great blow, should you wish us to, Commander. And we're gonna keep getting ability points and stealing corpses? Yeah, stealing corpses. Was that enough to get you guys to the next bond level? Not even close. Okay, we'll keep sending. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Yep. Nobody else for bond training? That's fine. Looking there, sixty-seven percent. Okay. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. That was a dark event. I was hoping we we might find the mission for to kind of counter it, but I don't also the think. Of this research can only further our advances, Commander. I don't think too many units will actually get the tactical sets. I think it's like officers, maybe like shock troopers or something like that. I don't know. I think in the wiki you can actually see which units are affected and what the percentage is that they get it. <clears throat> That's something where, you know, a lot of people always are concerned about the dark events messing up, right? It's like, ah, oh, look at all these upgrades. And then they see something like aggression, you know? Units gain aggression ability, almost critical chances, and I say, oh, everybody's gonna crit me. But then you look at, actually, that, oh, it affects, like, four units, and, and the chance that they actually get it is, like, 25%. I'm not sure what the actual numbers for aggression are, um, but, yeah, if you have some time, if you're interested in that, look that up. I think the wiki should have that listed, um, and it's it's not as bad as uh, this list might seem, right? There's a lot of permanent upgrades, a lot of them only affect a few units and then only a low percentage chance that they actually get it in the first place. Anyway, um, with all said, that said and done, we are at 100% infiltration on the Ordex Brain Coordinates. 40 enemies against our squad of 7. And um, this is actually a full salvage mission. So we're going to get our second uh, gatekeeper corpse here. Looks like we're going to get some Andromedons. And we'll see. Well, in order to get corpses, first of all, we need to kill all the enemies. And we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.